Well, good afternoon. My name is Glenn Mack, and I'm the Chief Information Officer for the North Carolina Department of Public Safety and the North Carolina Department of Adult Correction. But I'm here today to talk to you all about the book that I've got. But what is a Chief Information Officer? I handle all of the technology for the department, and that includes computers and laptops and networks and internet. Uh, we do the telephones, the cell phones, applications, anything and everything you could ever need uh, from a technology perspective, we provide oversight or support for. Okay? So, the book that I am uh, excited to read to you all about is called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. And it was written by Doreen Cronin, and the pictures were by Betsy Lewin. So let's get started. So here's the, the entryway. We've got cows, and they have a typewriter. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. So there's Farmer Brown. Here's the barn. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. So here goes Farmer Brown running up to the barn. Then, he couldn't believe his eyes. Look, the cows pinned a note to the barn door. And the note says, Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Well, it was bad enough the cows had found an old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. That means they stopped working. They left a note on the barn door. And the note says, Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. So here you see all the cows with their typewriter. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. So now we've got cows and chickens, or hens. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. The note says, closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, boo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. So here we've got all the chickens. Cows that type? Hens on strike? Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. You can see right there, he looks a little agitated. Farmer Brown got out on his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. So here he is typing. The duck was a neutral party. That means he didn't care one way or the other. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. So here's the duck with the note walking to the barn. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals, 
a horse, a pig, a cat, a dog, a sheep. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. Moo's how the cows talk. So all night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. The duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. And the note said, Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door, and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Well, Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for the duck to come with the typewriter. And as you can see, there are electric blankets on the cows and the hens plugged into the outlets. The next morning he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. So here you see the ducks were supposed to give the typewriter back, but they kept it. And the story ends with a duck diving off the diving board. So I think Farmer Brown got his typewriter back in exchange for a diving board. And that's our story today. I enjoyed reading to you, and uh, I hope to see you all again soon.